and we're gonna cook. One thing with spraying this, I didn't cover this, so I have to, you know. All right, hey you guys, I just wanna come to you guys and make a video on this real fast and show you guys how I create um, or infuse names into the waistband of the underwear. So let's get into it furthermore. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my Cricut mat and take my Cricut. Uh, my computer already has the name uploaded on there and I want to transfer it there and it's going to cut out. Okay, you guys. So, um, I just want to show you the paper that I'm going to use um, to, how do I say it, put on the the trimming of the box of briefs. So, this paper comes wrapped in black packaging. It is not like the normal um, iron-on or the vinyl that is sold in the store. It's actually packaged very differently. For what reason? Hmm. You'll see. So when you open up the black packaging, it comes like this. This is the actual paper, ink, whatever you want to call it. Ink. It's really ink. The paper is infused with ink. And so, yeah. And inside, they give you two heating pieces of paper that you can lay over the top and use as well. Teflon works as, as well, too. So, I mean... It's up to you. All right, you guys, so depending on uh, how you're gonna cut this out, it's not vinyl, so um, I'm gonna turn my mirror on and we're gonna print and cut it that way. We're gonna come down here to continue. Connect to our machine, boom. It tells you right there what your machine is set to. Mine is set to vinyl. I'm gonna go to like cards, card stock because it's it's really hard paper. And so it's over here. My Cricut is blinking. My mat is loaded. Hold on, I wanna edit this real fast. Hey, Clunky, everything okay back there? Oh, uh, Let's see. So we're almost finished. Um, it's gonna always tell you how much percentage is left. So. We're just gonna watch. It reads it. It's 
just finishing up. Voila. I'll eject my mat and there we have it. You want to be careful um, touching this and when you peel it from the mat, it's cardboard and the letters can pop up from the, you see that shiny part on the back? So the way I'm touching it, my hands are not on the black part because the black part is ink. It's ink. And if you touch it, it'll get on your fingers. Like I can show you. Um, uh, let me see. Uh, can you see the hand mark? Let's see. Where is it? Oh, it's right over here. Okay. I don't know if you can see it or not, but I can. There's a hand mark right there. And there's a hand mark underneath the N, which is fine as long as it's not on the letter. But the ink can get on your hands if your hands are wet, sweaty, you know, you nervous. So I'm going to cut this excess paper off. Without touching it. There we go. Bam. Sometimes you gotta improvise. Right. I'm gonna hold it with my sorry, I'm gonna hold it with my finger now. So that I don't touch it. All right, so I got my strips. We're going to take this over to the iron and press it down. All right, so we're going to take the front and lay the front straight down like that. So now I have to peel. You see the clear piece? Yeah. And now I have to peel without basically weeding. Basically weeding. Nah, without ripping the paper. I'll be back. Okay, so we're back. And we have it. It's been peeled. We trashed that piece. I'm gonna cut this in half because it's not angling how I want it to angle. So I'm gonna do these in different. Depending on how hot your iron is, there is no water in here at all. No water. No water. So depending on how hot your iron is, um, depending on how much ink will be infused into the fabric. I'm, I'm not counting time, minutes, seconds, or anything. I'm just doing this off the top of my head, honestly. Um, 
yeah so it does need to sit longer all right so we're going to peel up peel up peel up peel up and you can see where in the s there's more ink than in the n and it kills me so i will place it exactly back down position it exactly how I more so want the S and the O so I'm gonna go back over the S and the O <coughs> Okay, that's a lot better. A lot better. A lot better. And then I'm going to take the other part. And this is my first time doing this, and so now that I'm looking at it, there's stitching on the the briefs where it can give you an outline to position the letters. I don't want to move this up because then it'll be kind of unproportionate to the other side of the name. So, yeah. Right. Lay your paper down and press. So y'all, it's who once we come to the finished project, here it is, and it looks exactly like this. Look at that. Look at that. I mean, there's no it's 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 perfect. Oh!